Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-2380. Item Number, SCP-2380 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures, SCP-2380 is to be kept in Containment Locker 2380 at Site 39, with access bar to all personnel with a clearance level under 3. In the event of any breach in containment, junior researcher Oostergar is to be taken into protective custody by security personnel until containment is restored. Outside of controlled testing environments, bare skin contact is not to be made with SCP-2380, and protective equipment is to be used at all times. Description, SCP-2380 is a human left kidney, a genetic match to one H. Oostergar, a junior researcher at Site-39 in H. Denmark. Neither the internal nor external structure of SCP-2380 bears any notable deviations from that of an average human kidney. The cells of SCP-2380 do not differ from non-anomalous human kidney cells in any detectable way. All tissue remains healthy, however, despite the lack of blood flow to or from the object. SCP-2380 exhibits both a passive and active anomalous effect. Passively, SCP-2380 constantly rotates by currently unknown means, such that its superior pole is pointing toward junior researcher Oostergaard at all times. The active anomalous effects of SCP-2380 manifest when it is held or touched with bare skin by any human subject apart from junior researcher Oostergaard. Upon touching SCP-2380, the subject, henceforth designated SCP-2380-1, will attempt to implant SCP-2380 into junior researcher Oostergar by any means available. If surgical instruments or other sharp implements are accessible, instances of SCP-2380-1 will make use of them, but those affected have been observed to attempt the implantation without any tools or instruments of any kind. Worth noting is that junior researcher Oostergar is still in possession of both of his kidneys, which appear to be healthy and fully functional. It is not known at this time what instances of SCP-2380-1 would do with junior researcher Oostergaard's current left kidney if his abdominal cavity was successfully accessed. Upon removal of the kidney from the possession of affected SCP-2380-1 individuals, the active anomalous effects of SCP-2380 will cease until it again comes into contact with exposed human skin. Previously affected SCP-2380-1 individuals will express a lack of awareness of their actions, but possess the notion that, while affected, they were attempting to implant Oostergaard's kidney using proper medical procedure, surgical scrubs, sterilized medical equipment, designated operating theater, etc. This belief is maintained by SCP-2380-1 individuals with and without prior surgical experience, as well as SCP-2380-1 individuals without prior knowledge of Oostergar's identity. No other anomalous or abnormal effects have been noted in former SCP-2380-1 individuals, nor in junior researcher Oostergar himself. Recovery SCP-2380 was discovered by junior researcher Oostergar resting on his desk in research sector H of Site-39, the morning of H slash H slash 2011. Security footage from the morning of H slash H and the preceding night do not show any evidence of entry into research sector H before Oostergaard's arrival. Investigation of Oostergaard provides no evidence that he was in any way aware of the existence of SCP-2380, nor anything anomalous regarding his kidneys, prior to the morning of H. Slash it. Upon the arrival of Dr. H. Oostergar's immediate supervisor, SCP-2380 was picked up and manifested its anomalous effects. Dr. H. grabbed a letter opener from a nearby desk and proceeded to pursue Oostergar through the hallway until apprehended by security personnel. At this time, SCP-2380 fell to the ground and its effects ceased. As Dr. H. was taken into custody, SCP-2380 was retrieved by Officer H, making the object's anomalous properties known when he attempted to breach junior researcher Oostergar's abdominal cavity with a paperclip. 
Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations. Re